Hi, and this is Michael Williamson from CloudPoint Geographics. Today we want to look at ArcGIS.com and specifically how to get your Bing map imagery back onto your map. The first thing we need, I want to show you, just in case you didn't know, if you go to the ArcGIS.com and look at the base maps that they have available to you, you see that Bing maps is no longer there. Well, after a quick search of help, you'll find that there's an online help from ArcGIS resources it explains exactly what and why and all that kind of stuff. On ArcGIS Desktop specifically, you can use existing maps with Bing imagery, but you cannot add any new maps. So keep those old MXDs. With Explorer, you can see that uh, it is available to you on ArcGIS Explorer Desktop, and I just happen to have one right here. If I go to the layers, I see the normal ones that I have from ArcGIS.com, but I also have the Bing imagery at the bottom. Um, this is just available to you. It takes a little bit to load, but uh, there it is. There's the hybrid, there's the street maps, and there's just the imagery as well. So that's ArcGIS Desktop Explorer, which is free. The ArcGIS Resources website also goes on to explain how to get a Bing ID, which is a pretty much a Microsoft Live ID that you have to have. If you haven't created one, you need to create that based on any email address that you have, and then you just enter it when you sign into the page at bingmapsportal.com. When you sign in with that using my ID here, I can sign in and then I will be redirected to a web page where I can manage my Bing IDs or create a new one and what I'm going to do is create a new one. Uh, you have to type in the name of the Bing ID that you need uh, or the key that you need and uh, I'm going to use this for our ArcGIS Online account so I type in our CloudPoint ArcGIS Online and you need a URL. For your ArcGIS Online for Groups account all you need is the first half of that URL and you paste it into the Bing Maps Create Key Box and I want to take a pause right here and just tell you that you have the limit of two keys that you can create per free Arc, uh, Microsoft Live ID. So uh, just be aware of that when you're creating that, you only have a, a limit of two per Live ID. Um, so let's move on. And I'm going to select uh, Basic and then Public Website and enter the CAPTCHA so that we can prove that we are in fact human and create this Bing Map Key. It might take a second or two for the portal to create it, and then it puts it down at the bottom of the website here. Let me scroll down. You see that Big Maps key right there. I'm going to right-click and grab that, so I'm going to move it over to my ArcGIS Online for Groups accounts. Under the My Content button, you can choose My Organization, and then go on to Edit Settings, and that will move me to this screen where I will choose Maps, and then paste it right here in the Bing Maps key, and then when I hit save, uh, it's going to allow anybody to be able to use Bing Maps on their public websites or their public maps, any one of my users. Even though it's not here in the base map box as a thumbnail, let me zoom into Roanoke right here so we can kind of see it and it will load faster. Even though it's not in that box, it's under add. You have to add the data and then add from web. And then at this drop down, you can see that it says Bing Maps. Now I added the imagery, but you can also add a hybrid map or you can add the street map that are all available again on your uh, add data button. You go through and choose add from web and then it's also then you choose the imagery that you want. All right, that's how to get Bing Maps back to your ArcGIS Online account. Thanks for watching.